Surf time. Surf time. Surf time. Yeah. There's a hectic, hectic wind coming through and we want to be in Tahiti before that comes. My favourite! Oh, I, I need you, a... You, I'm not your favourite? Hey, ho, ho, hey, ho, hey, ho, hey, ho. Hey. Oh, no. <laughs> oh. <laughs> so, so, how did it go? Just... Oh, <laughs> Baby. What's that in the background? Good morning. Uh, this morning uh, we have just spotted a wave off the point here in Tuhau at our false pass that we've come to and it's not great but it's big enough for me to get excited because it's been so long since I've had a surf. Um, Isabel is actually also going to come out and very very excited just to go get in the water and be around a little bit of surf. Surfer girl Isabel. Woo! So excited. Looking forward to uh, dusting off the old surfboard. and. Oh yeah. Got the zinc going on already? Oh, yeah. <laughs> a little bit. I uh, just hope it doesn't like really break on the reef. Like it's a bit gentle, but yeah. I'm sure it will be. <laughs> I'll look out for you. Surf time! Surf time! Surf time! Yeah! Yeah, baby! Being able to surf in these remote Pacific breaks had always been a childhood dream of mine. While the waves weren't exactly perfect today, Isabel and myself had a lot of fun in the small swell. Your surf this morning? Oh, it was amazing. Oh, it was my first surf in a long time, so mm -hmm. I've had, I think I went out twice. I went out once with you and then I went out for a second time. Yeah. And you can probably tell by my eyes I'm a little bit, just had a little bit too much sun, but no, I'm very happy. <laughs> very, very happy. Good. What are we doing now? Um, right now we are anchored, should I say, we've just gone off anchor onto a mooring. Um, we're in a, what's called a false pass and 
the family actually run the moorings. Uh, they put on a lunch or a dinner, whatever you want. And basically, if you buy dinner, you don't have to pay for the mooring, which is quite nice. Good so deal. right now, apparently they've got a spread for us. Uh, we're going to go in and get some lunch. Um, and uh, yeah, really enjoy ourselves. Mm. Looks good. Valentine and Guston are the friendly locals that own the moorings and put on the lunch and dinner. All the food is prepared and sourced by them living on the false pass. We had fresh fish, lobster and pork all cooked and served in front of our eyes. Every place we come to in French Polynesia, no matter how remote it is or how just barren it is, we see these telephone boxes for some reason. I don't understand why. They do not look like they belong here, hey? It's like we're in the middle of an island paradise. There's nothing out here. You reckon it works? You would have to work. <laughs> I wouldn't go to the effort of putting it here if it didn't work. <laughs> this particular day was our friend Massimo's birthday. Massimo and his wife Paula are both Italian and are attempting to circumnavigate in their Amel 54. Isabel and I both look up to them, still sailing right into their 70s. Wow. Yes. Yes. Yeah? Take a travel? <laughs> Crazy face. Look at the beautiful flower in the middle. Thank you. Hey, cutie. What's going on? We are going sailing. Woo! But in night time? In the night time, yes. We are setting sails and we're actually sailing to Tahiti. We checked the wind on Predict Wind this afternoon with our sat phone because we have no internet out in these remote spots. Uh, and there's a hectic, hectic wind coming through 25 to 30s for about five or six days and we want to be in Tahiti before that comes. Mm. So basically the plan is, it is Saturday night right now, we're going to start our slow sail, probably be two days, three nights. Yeah, I think it should be a pretty cruisy sail. Mm. We'll, um, we'll show you the wind as we see it okay. and uh, yeah, anything else to add baby? Um, no, this is a very spontaneous um, decision that we just made, but um, as Kieran just said, or you just said, mm. as long as we can see it's um, really, really hectic conditions and we don't want to sail in that. Um, so yeah, we just We're decided to go. We're going to be safe. Ahead. We're going to be safe, aren't we? Alright, let's go sailing. Let's do it. You were in the dark. I was in the dark, but now I'm a light. <laughs> So did the pass go? The pass, yeah, getting out of the false pass went quite well. Yeah. I had a good bowman. Oh. So woman, by woman. A bow woman to <laughs> guide me out. And now I have dinner served to me. Oh my goodness, baby. Some uh, leftovers from lunch, actually. But um, Indian uh, in the French Polynesia, hey? Looks amazing, darling. <laughs> Enjoy. And uh, let's uh, yeah, let's check in in a couple of hours, hey? When the when the sun comes back out. Yeah, there's uh, zero wind tonight, mm -hmm. so mm -hmm. hopefully we get a little bit of wind kicking in 
around midnight, maybe. Yeah. If not, we're just, we're just, just, just go puttering along on the motor. Okay. Pop, 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 pop. Sorry, I didn't quite catch that. Pop, 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 pop. Oh, hey, 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 baby. Hello. Um, how about it? Uh, this afternoon, we have had a few little squalls. We haven't been rained on, but we have had a bit of wind that's brought with these squalls. So we've been holding about somewhere between four to six knots, uh, which is quite nice. Um, I think it's just leaving us now, which is a bit unfortunate, but... We're hoping to get in tomorrow afternoon, if we can, during the daylight hours. But if we can't, then maybe Tuesday morning. My baby is just cooking some dinner. Hmm? What do we got cooking? Good looking? Um, pasta. Alla Italy. Just Say again? That Alla Italy? <laughs> what the? <laughs> I don't know. You asked me what I'm making and it's just pasta and, and whatever veggies and... you got to talk it up, baby. you got to be like... Um, That's what I'm doing. Um, Pasta uh, alla Italy. Didn't that sound extremely fancy? <laughs> hey? No, you gotta be like, I'm cooking my grandma's famous recipe that she stole off the Italian Prime Minister oh, yeah. some 150 years ago. Yeah? She's that old. Yeah, she's, uh, she's that old. Yes. <laughs> yes. Um, no, it's just about our vegetables, so it's zucchini and aubergine, put in some tomatoes, some olives, some capers, some fresh parsley, a lot of garlic, and hot stuff. Happy days! Happy days! This is the uh, present situation outside. We have uh, kind of a little bit of grey skies, not too bad skies over here. Oh, the squalls disappeared. There was one out here before, but we are loving life. Absolutely loving life. Um, we left early and we planned to do this sail for maybe three nights, possibly two, but most likely three nights. So we're just cruising really. We've got wing on wing action right in front of me and uh, we're in no rush, we're in no stress. This strong wind that kicks in on Tuesday is now scheduled Tuesday afternoon so it's going to be a very cruisy sail to get in and we don't have to worry about getting hit by that. But check out this wing on wing action. Look at that! Woo -wee. <gasps> My favourite! Oh, I, I need you, a... You, I'm not your favourite? Yeah, you're my... Yeah, yeah, you're my favourite. Yeah, that's right. Mm. Italian olives. That is my weakness. For some reason, we really like eating olives when we're sailing. Is that not strange? I just like eating olives when I'm doing everything. <laughs> Walking the you. dog, you know. Oh, you do that a lot, do you? Waking up in the morning. Oh, yeah. On the toilet. You know. <laughs> Did I just oh, take it there? Was... Did I just take it there? <laughs> Isabel's uh, stolen recipe pasta from the Italian Prime Minister 150 years ago is looking fantastic. Baby. Prime Minister, is it? Prime Minister? We could go. Yeah, we could go. Grandmother. Uh, grandmother. Oh. Grandmother well, stole it off the prime no, no, minister. The, the grandmother was the prime minister. Oh, the grandma, that, your grandmother the was. Story, you're yeah. Italian yeah. then. Oh yeah. Here I, I thought you were Swedish. Oh. Stitch up. Oh no. Oh. Sorry. Sorry. How did it go? Just... Boy. <laughs> Hey, 
<laughs> How's your day been? Good. Very good. Yeah? yeah? Enjoying the sunset? Yeah, it's beautiful. It's always best at sea. Hmm. Could blow a little bit more. Yeah. But other than that, this day has been great. Most of the time we could use a bit more wind. <laughs> today especially. We've got about 120 miles left, maybe 125. If we had, if we were going about five or six knots, we could easily get there in time before tomorrow, I guess, sunset. Um, but it's okay. I enjoy this much more than pushing the boat like we did to, you know, from Nukihiva to the Tsumoros, than to just do, that, do like this, just taking it slow. The relaxed sail yeah. is a lot less stressful on you. Yeah, 100%. Your day has been good? Um, yeah, I could have used maybe a little bit better sleep, but no, I'm happy. I had a shower. I was really stinky this morning, so I had a shower. And um, no, I'm very happy. Good morning. Good morning. What is happening? Uh, we've just woken up on our second morning. We just had a few squalls this morning. Um, they're really annoying because they bring like I don't know, 15 to 20 and we go well for a little bit and then they disappear and we're left with this dismal flapping sails you know, five to ten knots, mm. and it's very frustrating, mm. very frustrating. Mm -hmm. We're about 75 miles off Tahiti, oh. um, and we haven't really kept up the pace which we were hoping to keep up, so it's looking like we're going to arrive sometime tonight, mm -hmm. and that means that we'll probably heave to out the front, and then Sales are killing me. Um, we'll probably heave two out the front and just sleep the sleep peacefully, and then come in tomorrow morning. How many knots? Uh, six knots apparent. Probably, probably eight to ten true. Head sail over the other side, so maybe flapping stops, but we'll sail away off angle. That's well, okay, we've got time to kill. You said you've already seen it, but I can't see yeah. it. All I see is clouds. Um, so right now we've got about 17, 18 knots of true wind coming at 120 degrees behind us, and we're at a broad reach. Problem is we've got full sails up, and the autopilot was struggling on its own. So I've got the hydro vane and the autopilot working together to steer the boat and hold a course. And it's going okay. We're doing like six knots, maybe six and a half. Ooh. Six seven apparently. Ooh. Yeah, so no, we're going very well. Um, we are scheduled to get in at about ten, ten thirty. Okay. And that's that's it there. Can you see that? Yeah. You're not feeling crashed up today, are you? No. Well the waves were amazing the first uh, day, first mm -hmm. two days. Yeah. And then today they're like, uh, we've been too nice on her. She needs to experience some real weather. That's, that's what the waves were thinking? Yeah, okay. you didn't hear them? I, I, I must have missed them. Oh. Yeah, so uh, we are in a washing machine and I am feeling it. Um, I have felt better. 
We've got uh, we've got a big south swell coming out from yeah. um, from Bullock, south of us. Yeah. And um, we've the, we got the wind coming from the north, and it's also got a little swell with it. So they're kind of meeting and hitting each other and going up. And we're in the middle. And we're in the middle. And Isabel's paying the price. Oh, it's okay. We're almost there. How many miles do we have left? Thirty. Thirty. Thirty miles Very at good. six knots. Very good. And it's three o'clock in the afternoon. You guys do the calculations. Baby, what's that in the background? Tahiti! Unreal stuff. Amazing. Um, as a kid, you kind of, you think of French Polynesia, you think of Tahiti. I never really heard of the Marquesas or the Tuamotos. Now arriving in Tahiti, it's just so foreign to me. Uh, it's, it's like in the middle of the Pacific, way, way away from Australia, where I grew up. Um, it's unreal to be like sailing in here now. It's crazy. Baby, you? Oh, well, coming from Sweden, I mean, Tahiti and French Polynesia is just like on the other side of the world, just way, way, way out there. Uh, and to finally be here, it's, 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 yeah, it's crazy. It's unreal. It's next level, isn't yeah. it? Happy days. <laughs> we have this squall that's just, just going to wet us up before we arrive. That's why I've got the rain gear on. Hydro vane's working, autopilot's working, they're kind of working together today just because the wind's been so strong and I refuse to pack away any sail. this morning baby uh, I woke up five minutes ago <laughs> that's something similar to me as well really yes what a coincidence um, this morning basically we came in here uh, we sailed in here yesterday to get away from a big big weather window weather kind of front that's coming in from the south and originally it was meant to hit this afternoon but we got a little bit of rain this morning and we've been woken up by our friend Devon on Pura Vida and he doesn't want to risk it and I think I think it's a great idea to get moving to the safer anchorage where we currently last night anchored at a quite uh, relaxed anchorage near the entrance but it's very exposed so we're gonna get right up in the mangroves I think mm -hmm. right up the bay and get really protected from this strong wind that's gonna come in yeah I'm really really excited about Tahiti it looks absolutely stunning yes, from what we can incredible. see incredible all oh, the trees just greens the and oh. trees and surf on this side We've got chopu right over here which we we're hoping to check out ah <laughs> oh, looks incredible <laughs> 